Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Kanyal and I am from the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. I am very excited to present the work done with Professor Smruti Sarangi on Panopticro. Now, websites process a lot of sensitive information, for example credit card details. And by design, the websites contain a lot of third party scripts. And even though all scripts have the same access to sites, they are not equally trustworthy. A simple bug or an unpatched vulnerability in any one of the script might lead to a problem like this where personal data from multiple sites was breached due to a problem in one of the many scripts. Apart from third-party data leakage, other problems like cross-site scripting and SQL injection can be analyzed and detected early if the browser supports dynamic information flow tracking between sensitive endpoints at runtime. But due to the sheer complexity of the web browsers and specifically the Chromium browser that is used by more than 64% users, even the latest work in the direction of in-browser information flow tracking is more than 5 years old, and there have been many fundamental changes since then. Apart from this, all information flow tracking frameworks for Chromium have a fixed set of sensitive endpoints and platform-dependent patches that cannot keep up with the rapid development cycle of Chromium. These problems severely limit the reusability of framework for different studies. To solve these problems with the existing frameworks, we developed an open source in-browser framework for the latest version of Chromium that has an easy to configure set of endpoints, is designed to work on multiple platforms and is fairly maintainable. At the heart of Panopticrome is an old team tracking and generation engine that can mark any function as sensitive at runtime based on a set of user specified predicates in easy to read JSON format. As an example huge case of the platform, uh, we marked all the data that is derived from browser APIs as sensitive and characterized the data flow for the top 20,000 websites. Using co-location of sensitive APIs as metric, we discovered 362 out of 7,000 APIs as sensitive that can be used to uniquely identify the browser and the user. Please have a look at our paper for more details. Thank you.